I'm Dr. Lindsay Doe, clinical sexologist and host of this Sex Curious show, Sexplanations. This episode is sponsored by the ever so delightful adamandeve.com. I'm going to remind you about this at the end. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've answered your sex questions. Let's do it. What's your opinion on douching for anal sex? I'm all for people making choices about their own bodies. Here's an anal sex prep video all about it. Personally, I choose to not douche and use in condoms instead. Sex masturbation ideas for pre-gender reaffirmation surgery, trans women that don't involve giving the penis any attention and not anal. Ooh, I love it when I can reference work I've already done. Here is a video and this one on 150 sex acts. My non-penis, non-anal favorites are one, putting pressure on the mons, just above the pubic bone, holding my hands like a cunt, oral sex, nipple stimulation, butt grabbing, and your imagination. Inner thigh, neck, and drawing on my underwear can get touched like a pussy, and that can lead to orgasm. Reclaiming sexual identity after genital cutting or other sexual body trauma disfigurement? Actually, a lot of what I was just mentioning, and this video on sexual grievances, and this one on reclaiming sex. Talk to others who've experienced similar body changes and or trauma. Sharing is one of the most powerful tools we have, at least for me. It helps me move through grief to acceptance and reclamation. How soon in advance could you reasonably give consent? You can agree to something way in advance. Like I agreed to be dressed in mushroom spore pajamas when I die so that my body decomposes rather than polluting the planet. I was back in 2011. Consent is an intent in a specific context. Agree to do something and then check in again at the time. Things change, minds change, context changes. It's okay to be disappointed. It's not okay to rape. Is it harmful to masturbate in prone position without erection being a male, prone as an on your stomach. In this video, I briefly mentioned traumatic masturbatory syndrome, masturbating in a prone position, often for long durations without other forms of stimulation, which is correlated with erectile difficulty. With or without an erection, it is noted by clinicians that rubbing against surfaces like one's bed or underwear may quote, deaden the tissue. More about it in the description. Is there a way to stop wanting it? Because Oh boy, is it distracting. Wanting it like sex? Consult an endocrinologist about changes in your hormones. Remove hormone producing body parts like testicles and ovaries. Exercise a lot or generally wear yourself out. Having kids works for lots of people and so does work stress and school stress. Anything that physically and mentally exhausts you is helpful, but not a guarantee. Desire is not completely understood and notorious for being out of our control. How do I get it? The sex? I made a video for you on how to find a partner. There are other methods methods too. Sky and Max can tell you all about them in this video. How do I get over a lack of drive due to medication? I love that I have so many videos to give you a more comprehensive answer to your individual questions. Do you have any sex related memes that you want to share? <laughs> gray sweatpants? This is a real thing and I love that it makes me think about things. Like, is this sexualizing men? Can a man still ejaculate as much semen as before getting a vasectomy? If yes, is it still as enjoyable during orgasm? Sperm takes up so little volume in ejaculate, less than 6%. The first view may be uncomfortable as your body adjusts to the surgery you just had, but this should subside. If it doesn't and orgasm isn't enjoyable, then please talk to your doctor about it. What to look out for in threesome and moresomes? Consent. Initially, shared values, ability to communicate, specifically negotiate. Are they honest, trustworthy? Do you want to have private sex with them and will they respect that? Then I look out for sexually transmitted infections. Did they have any pathogens? When was the last time they were tested and for what? What kind of protection is available to prevent transmission in the future? Do they want the same things from a sexual experience or better ones? Is it healthy to take breaks like one or two months from masturbating? Depends on the context and intent. Here's my frequency rant. What is the best way for a girl to masturbate with her fingers? Genuine question. With clean hands, slowly to start, very curiously and patiently. This video on masturbation isn't specifically for girls or fingers, but it has more suggestions. I'm working on a fingering episode. Can you have zero interest in sex or be asexual and still participate in kink? I already know the answer, but I see lots of people making up nonsense about this, so maybe they will stop assuming kink has to lead to sex if an expert sexologist gives them the answer. Okay. You can have zero interest in sex and or be asexual and still participate in kink. I did a dungeon tour with Count Boogie where he demonstrated kink activities on my body. For me, it was not sexual and we did not have sex. BDSM focuses on power, control, consent, sensations, and relationships. Often there's no genital contact. Often there's no orgasm. And this can be the case 
even if you're a highly sexual person interested in having sex. How to be more comfortable, confident, self-assured, especially in dom-sub roles where someone may be more comfortable in one dynamic but wants to be more comfortable with the other two. When I first started Sexplanations, I didn't know how to host a YouTube channel. To learn, I watched other YouTubers, specifically their blooper reels, which helped me take things in stride and not expect perfection. So ask other subs and doms to share their victories and mistakes with you. Having a mentor can make an enormous difference. For example, Nicholas Jenkins was mine for a lot of sexplanations. He gave solid direction and held a safe place for me to practice. Fortunately, a lot of what you learn now, as opposed to when you were a child, is built on a vast foundation of knowledge and abilities. Hosting, for example, was new, but teaching and dancing and asking questions and being a good friend were skills I already had, which applied to the part of being your teacher. Find someone you respect to guide you and put in time, a lot of intentional time learning and stay curious. You do not need toys to be happy or sexual, but public cervix announcement, they are wonderful ways to enhance your experience and treat yourself. Adam and Eve will give you 50% off an eligible item in your shopping cart and free shipping to the US and Canada. I'm going to tell you all about it. Look, these two. This one I've already shown you, but I need to revisit it because look at this new realization. You can take off this end and you can take off this end and you can press this power button to make it vibrate. On one side, it has studs. On the other side, it has ribs. This is great for personal diversity. And docking. Who dicks? Right? This one, this one has been inside my body. It was a great experience, remember? Remember that? You can get one for yourself. Do your own experiments, adamandeve.com.